Hey everyone, this is Thruvin and I welcome you all to Power Ups Beginner series. You are watching sixth part of this series and in this session we are going to talk about variables in Power Ups. So now let's get started. Now let's talk about which type of variables we can create with the help of Power Apps. In Power Apps we can create two different types of variable. One is local variable and second one is global variable. Now what do we mean by local and global variable and how we can define those variable in Power Apps? Let me explain you that thing in detail. So now let me move over to the browser and let's check the step by step procedure. This is my Power Apps screen. Now let's get started first with the local variable. The context of the local variable can be limited to a single screen or single page, meaning we cannot access the local variable to other screen. Its scope is limited to a screen where we have defined that variable. Let's say for an example, this is my power apps and here you can see two different screen over here. Now I am in screen two at this moment and I am defining one of the variable inside that screen. Now if I want to access that variable to another screen, I am not able to access that variable. The reason is that I am defining that variable as a local variable. Now to define the local variable in Power Apps, we need to use a function update context. Now let me give you a small demo of that. Now let's say for an example, this is my screen and now let me place one of the input box over here. So let me just enter a input box as a text input and let me remove its default value from here. Now what I need here is whenever I'm typing anything here that is stored in one of my local variable, right? For that, let's write one event on that. Let's say, right, let's write on change event. So go to here and select on change from here. Now. Here we need to write a variable update context. Now in update context you need to define the variable name. For that just write curly braces and inside that let's type variable local. Let's define a variable name as variable local text. Then add a colon and then which value do you want to store over there. So let's say I want to store value of text input 2. So let's uh, take this id text input to dot text. This value I want to store in my variable, right? Close the brackets. Now hit and enter. Now what I want to do here is whatever I am typing here that will be stored inside that variable. Now I want to print that variable on any of the label. So let's place one label here and let's pull its value as variable name. So go to the text event and inside text just place that variable name right now let's run the app and check the variable so let's say i'm typing here as drovin and now i'm pressing tab so it will trigger my change event and you can see that the variable is stored the value as drovin and its value is being printed here right so this is how we can store the value inside the variable now let's say for an example this is one variable that we have defined in screen 2. Now in screen 3, I want to use the same variable. Can I able to access that variable? The answer is no. Because the reason is that this variable is defined as a local variable and its context is limited to this particular screen. Now which type of value we can store inside the local variable? We can store string variable, integer variable, date variable or even we can store the record as well. Now let me explain you how we can store the record value inside the local variable. Right now in order to do that let's do one thing. Let me just place one button here and on button click I am storing the current user's information. Right so for that just type update context. Now in update context I want to use the user very user information right so uh, curly brace is on now user info colon now I want to store current users information so let's type as user this is the function now this is something which is providing the record value over here in the variable right now let's hit an enter now let me just click on button right so 
Now let's say for an example I want to check what's the value stored inside that user info. For that just go to the view and click on variables. Now it shows all the available variable from screen 2. Now here you can see that this is the variable that we just defined as variable local text and this is the record variable. Just click on that and it will show uh, what's there inside that particular record. So you can see that my entire user information is being stored over here right now let's just uh, go back now let's say I want the name from that record so how can I get that for that just add one label here now let's say I want to print name right so the variable name is user info right so just copy the variable name that is user info right whenever you click on dot it will show all the suggestions to us like which are the different available record value over there so let's say I'm, I want to show the email so it will show me the email like this right now also whenever you double click on that it will show the record over here and when you expand that you can see all the record properties over here like this right so this is how you can store the value inside the local variable now how can I clear my local variable in order to clear the local variable we just need to make that as a blank let's say for an example uh, currently all the variables has been set here now what I want to do here is uh, whenever I came for the first time to my screen I want to clear out all the variables right in order to do that let's just make one thing uh, on visible event of the screen we can write that code or we can also place one clear icon here and we can place our code so in order to clear the thing let's do one thing we just need to use same update context variable and inside that let's say I want to make user info to be cleared so inside user info I just need to pass blank like this so that this will initialize this record and clear this record same way let's say for an example I want to make the variable text as a blank so in order to do that just comma local text and then make it as blank right simple so this is how we can clear our variables now let's say I'm going to screen 1 and again came to screen 2 and uh, just run the app and here you can see that all the values become blank so you can see that the label that we have defined do not show any value to us so this is how we can set and clear the values for the local variable now let's say for an example I want to pass my local variable from one screen to another screen how can I pass that right for that we can pass that variable into navigate function let's say for an example I stored my email address to this screen now I want to pass that to screen 3 so how can I pass that in order to achieve that we need to use the navigate function so let's say what I want to do here is on button click I want to pass this value to my screen 3 so let me just create my screen 3 over here first so I created my screen 3 right now let me go to screen 2 and now let me just pass this variable local variable from one screen to another screen right in order to do that just use the navigate function inside the navigate just pass the screen name I want to pass that to the screen 3 and then place comma which transition effect do you want to have there I want a fade effect over there so just type that and then we need to pass the context right so uh, we need to pass this local variable context from screen 2 to screen 3 for that just use this curly braces over here right and now let's just pass variable local just type any name over here and now here I want to pass uh, email address right so I will use user info dot email right so this is how I can pass that right so uh, this is the variable name and which particular context you want to pass you just need to add here right now what happen here is whenever you click on that button let me just press alter plus enter so I redirect it to screen 3 and now I want that variable over here and on screen 3 we are getting the same variable variable local so just type that variable name over here now let's test this thing let me click on button so it will show the email address and that will be stored in one of my variable 
now i am navigating the function and you can see that that name is appearing into screen 3 right so this is how we can pass the context from one screen to another screen for the local variable right now let me talk about another variable type that is the global variable a global variables value can be used within all the screen of power apps meaning if we define the global variable for our app we can easily access that variable throughout all the screen now let me explain you that thing in detail sometimes we have a situations like let's say for an example whenever a user logins to the app for the first time we will store entire user's information as a global variable and then in all the screen whenever we need it we can access that variable to any screen right so how can i achieve that and which function is used to define the global variable let me explain you that thing in detail in order to define the global variable we need to use set function now let's say i want to achieve a requirement like let's say whenever a user came for the first time to the app meaning on app start i want to store the global variable right for that just type set inside set we just need to provide the variable name over here first so i am pressing as v global user my global variable name is v global login user then we just need to place comma and now we need to provide the value here i am storing the entire user information over here right this right now what i want to do here is uh, let's say for an example here if you have a requirement like you want to store text variable or integer variable that thing also you can do here right but at this moment i am storing the entire user record over here and that will be executed on start of the app right so let's say let me start my app over here so let me click here and click me uh, run on app start so my app start has been executed now let's say i am creating some another screen screen 4 right now i want to use that variable that global variable so how can i do that so i'm going to screen 4 i'm adding two to three labels over here let's say i'm adding two different label over here and now i want to use that global variable right so for that just go here and let's just define v global just type the variable name v global login user now it is a record variable and you can see that this time many of values we are getting so we global login user dot full name so it will show me the full name value over here same way we can use v global variable dot its email right so this is how we can get the global variables value right now let's say for an example uh, you want to store some string variable or text variable you can also do that let's say i want to set screen name over here so i am just typing v screen name i am typing my screen name as home over here right now in screen 4 i want to access that screen name so let me execute my run start then let me go here let me place one label let me just use that variable name screen name so i'm getting home variable over here now what if i want to change the set variable value right in order to do that let me do one thing now let's say i wanted to have a functionality like on button click i want to change the value of set variable for that i just need to use set function again i need to use the same variable name and let me just make it as blank and let me just provide its value as screen 4 now let me click on button so you can see that set variables and value has been changed over here right now how can you check which value is stored into set variable go to file menu and from here just click on variable on top of the screen you can see global variables you can see both the values that we have defined on app start like this 
So all the global variable throughout the app will be available over here and local variable is available inside specific screen. Right? So hope this is clear for you now. Now what if you want to clear the value for the global variable? The procedure is the same. Let's say I want to make clear for this particular screen name. So let's just use blank over here. Whenever you use, use blank meaning that variables value been cleared out. So whenever I'm using that it's been cleared and you can also check that from your variables and from here let's say you can see that no value meaning it has been cleared right now let me summarize everything we have discussed about two types of variable local variable and global variable local variable can be determined by update context global variable can be determined by set variable the context of the local variable is limited to a single screen the context of the global variable is limited to entire app we can pass the value from one screen to another screen using navigate function for the local variable. Set variable can be accessed anywhere using its variable name. So that's all about the variable concept inside the power apps. Hope you really enjoyed this session. If you have any question related to this topic, you can add your questions in the comment section. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay tuned with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. If you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel, click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification about all my new video on your WhatsApp number. Stay connected with me. And if you are looking for any corporate training, you can connect me on my WhatsApp that is available over here. Stay tuned with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.